What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this series, we're talking about every step that you need to take to get to the point where you're making $10,000 per month as a web designer. Now in today's video, we're gonna be covering the single biggest change that I had to make in my own business to reach the $8,000 per month mark. Now these changes that I made made my life way easier as a freelancer, but even more importantly, it brought consistency and predictability to my income, which has been an absolute game changer. Now this video is gonna be all about the value of your clients, and I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can turn a $3,000 one-time website client into a $15,000 annual client that pays you month after month. And this can only be accomplished by adding monthly residual services to your web design business model. So if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you a spreadsheet that shows all of the extra monthly services that I like to offer. And I'm also gonna give you a ballpark price range of what you can charge for these services. But first, if you remember in our last video, we talked about the quality of all of your clients and how you can drop clients that are maybe holding your business back or causing way more issues than they're actually paying you for. And so if you haven't watched that video already, make sure to click this link right here. But once you've narrowed your clients down to that ideal client that's gonna help you grow your business, you're ready to increase the value of those clients. Now I'm sure that we've all experienced that same situation where we work our tail off every month to find new clients, to get them signed. We work our butt off for a month or two to finish the website, deliver it, we get paid, and then we are back to square one, right where we started, and we're hustling the very next month to find another client to pay our bills. And people are constantly asking me in the comments and on my social media, Peyton, how do I find new clients? Because this always seems to be the resolution or the answer to this issue. And the fact of the matter is, it's not. And people rarely ask me, Peyton, how can I provide more value to the clients I already have? Because this is going to be the best way for you to make more money and also relieve a ton of the stress that you have right now in your business. It is way too much work to work with one-time clients that disappear right when you're done with their website. And so by adding these residual services, you're not gonna have to find as many clients. And if you think about it, you're not gonna be needing to find 25 to 30 new clients every year just to pay your bills. But instead, you can find five to 10 really solid annual clients that pay you month to month. And that is gonna make you way more money in the long run. And it's also gonna relieve a ton of the friction. You're not gonna have to work as much and you're gonna have more time to focus on those individual clients, get to know their business, get to know their industries, and provide way better results for them, which in the long run is gonna be better for both you and your client. When we don't do this, it's literally like pouring water into a bucket with holes in the bottom. We're working so hard to fill up our bucket full of clients, but they're leaving right out the bottom as fast or faster than we're bringing them on, and this is a major issue. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is determine what types of residual services you wanna to offer to your clients, and the number one question that you need to ask is what's gonna bring the most value to my clients, and number two, what is gonna fit within my skill set to where I know I'm gonna be able to deliver great results and bring a lot of value through these services. So what I've done is compiled a quick little list that shows my favorite services to offer in conjunction with web design. I feel strongly that these services are really easy to learn, really easy to incorporate into your business model, and they really supplement all of your web design work. And I found that when I added these services to my web design services, my clients love the websites even more because the value was coming each and every month rather than them feeling like they just got delivered a great web design that's gonna sit there and not do anything for their business. So with that being said, I wanna jump into this quick list right here. And the first thing that I've got on here is search engine optimization. And this is actually at the core of my business. I feel very strongly that SEO uh, among all of the other monthly services that you could offer, I feel like this one brings probably the most value because for my clients as local businesses, once I build a website, they wanna get local traffic to their website. And so search engine optimization is a great way to get kind of that organic reach. You can see here that um, I charge anywhere from 250 to $1,000 per month. Now you can certainly charge more than that for this service. Um, depending on the size and the budget of the business. But I feel like this is a great ballpark price range for you to price out your services, be able to kind of justify putting in the hours every single month and know that you're getting paid well enough 
to really focus on getting results for these clients. Now, the next thing that I've got on here is Google My Business Optimization. Now, this is very similar to just regular SEO. A lot of people know this as local SEO because this is the process of getting your client's business found on Google Maps or what some people call the map pack. And the next thing that I've got as well is Google reviews and all these things kind of play in together to get some organic reach and organic presence, a great reputation so people can find your website, they can find your reviews and purchase whatever you're selling. And so in this instance, Google My Business Optimization, you can charge anywhere from $150 to $500 a month and Google reviews, you can charge anywhere from 50 to $350 per month. And so in my case, what I've done is I've actually grouped all of these together into a single service that I try to charge around $1,000 per month to just provide massive value um, to the websites that I've already built. Um, if you're wondering what these things entail, just a brief overview, Google My Business has everything to do with optimizing their Google My Business listing. And for Google reviews, I actually provide a really clean funnel where they can actually send a text message request to their clients or their customers and it will send them directly to their Google My Business listing and the, the location where they can actually leave those reviews. And so these are awesome services to provide a ton of value. The next thing that I've got on the list is tracking and analytics. And this one is pretty straightforward, but people love to understand what's going on on their website and how many people are coming to the site, what is the behavior of people once they land on the site, like what pages are they visiting, how long are they spending on those individual pages, what buttons are they clicking, and so this type of tracking analytics is a great way just to kind of manage and keep an eye on the productivity of the website. The next thing that I've got here is content management, and this actually goes pretty well hand in hand with search engine optimization because obviously you're going to have to continually bring new content to the website, but you can also offer content management services as kind of a standalone service. And I know a lot of people that do this where they will charge anywhere from 50 to $200 per article, or you can even charge a monthly retainer for you know say two articles per month. And this is a great way to either write those articles yourself if you're a good copywriter, or what you can do is you can hire those out to other freelancers um, you could easily get a great article written for $50 and then charge $200 per article and just like that you are pocketing a, an extra $150 a month per client. The next thing I've got is photo and video and this one is pretty self-explanatory. I've got a lot of friends that actually started in the photography and videography space and what they did then is learn web design so they could actually group those things together and once they take photos or videos they can just implement those right into the website. Um, a lot of my clients as local businesses, when I'm building their website, they'll tell me, oh, we actually don't have any good photos of our team. Could you get those taken for us? And while I don't offer that service just because it's a little bit outside my expertise, I think that's a great way for you to tack on an extra charge of anywhere from $200 to $5,000 to take great um, photos, great videos of your clients and their team and their work and everything that they're doing. So that is a great service to kind of go hand in hand with your web design. The next thing that I've got on here is running ads and obviously you can run ads on a number of different channels. You can do it on pretty much any social media channel. You can run Google ads um, and it's pretty standard to charge 15 to 25 percent of the ad spend. So for example, if your clients run a hundred dollars worth of ads, you could pocket $15 of that. And so obviously there are a lot of benefits to increasing their ad spend and trying to get more traffic to their site because obviously you're going to make more as a percentage management fee. Um, I also know a lot of people that will charge a monthly retainer on top of that which acts almost as a minimum and so what I would do is I go to a client and say um, we can run ads for you. I take a 15% management fee and I also charge a $200 retainer um, just as kind of that base to make sure that I can manage things, get them set up. Um, and so that's a pretty fair deal for people to run ads with you and technically they'd be spending $1,000 a month on ads. They'd end up paying you maybe close to $300 of that and the rest goes to ads. But again, people love that because they don't have to worry about setting up and managing and running their own ads. The next thing that I've got on here is social media posts. Now this is for my more creative friends on here that are graphic designers. Um, I've got actually a lot of clients that will ask for this service. They'll say, hey, we have a hard time keeping our social media up to date. Is there any way that you could create graphics for us 
or something where we can post every week or two times a week. Um, and so this is a really nice thing to maybe charge a per post fee and then you just know that you're gonna make two posts per week for $40 a post um, and just like that you can pocket a couple extra hundred dollars every month um, and you can have a place to kind of focus your creativity into the overall strategy of your client and this is going to play in really nicely to getting people to the website that you've already designed. The other nice part about this is you're going to be able to use those graphics throughout the website as well, which is a great way to just kind of work on their overall branding and the overall content of their business online. Now the last one that I wanna mention here is one that oftentimes gets overlooked and that is website hosting and security and management and all things that have to do with just keeping a website live and looking good and up to date. Um, and so this is something that I know a lot of people will do is they'll charge an additional 50 to 200 bucks to tell them that we will make sure to check your website once a week or once a month. We'll keep it updated, we'll make small changes, we'll ensure that it's always secure, that there's no hacks, that there's no breaks in the hosting. Whatever that might be, you can upsell people. In my case, I'm building all my websites on Webflow and Webflow has an option to do client billing where you can actually upsell them on the hosting. This isn't something that I do with my clients traditionally unless we've actually negotiated additional services on top of their hosting. And so you wanna make sure that you're straightforward with this and people know what they're getting out of this and that they feel like there is true value there. But this is a great option if you just wanna tack on some additional services and some additional fees on top of your web design. So all of these services are great ways for you to provide value to your clients month after month. And so if you found any value in this list, make sure to smash that like button down below. Now, if you've decided what services you want to add on to your business model, the next thing that you have to do is ensure that it syncs up with the way that your business already runs. And what I mean by that is you're gonna wanna take these services and incorporate them into your business structure, into your model, into your workflow, and into your pricing structure, just to make sure that the whole process is seamless. You don't want people to feel like you're telling them, hey, I build websites and that's my expertise, and I also offer this kind of random service on the side if you're interested. But instead, what I do is I want them to know that this is kind of a package deal and that it works perfectly with the web design services that they're interested in. And so just to give you an example of this, what I do is I offer search engine optimization, I also offer Google My Business optimization, and then I offer review services. And so what I do is I have my pricing packages set up to where my website and then all of these services which kind of function under the overall, I guess, idea of local SEO, I package these together and so the pricing is for all these things. There's a setup fee and then there's a monthly fee each and every month. And the nice part about this is then I can kind of lay out my processes and know, okay, once I land my website client and I build their website, this is when I start SEO and this is the process that I take. This is when I set them up with a review funnel to help encourage them to get more reviews. And I can have the set process that I run every single client through because as you do this, and if you can have kind of a refined process, it's gonna get easier and easier for you to know exactly what to do to get results. That way you're not gonna be working on things that don't bring results. You're gonna save yourself a ton of time and hassle, but also you're gonna be able to sell these services more confidently because you know exactly what you need to do to get those results. Now when it comes to pricing your monthly services, I think one of the most critical things is trying to get people set up on some sort of long-term agreement. And this makes it easier for everybody involved because you're going to have the time to get results and really commit to their business but also you wanna make sure that they are committed for the long term to you as well because then they're going to help you along the way and it doesn't matter what service you're offering, you're going to need to work hand in hand with this business owner or with this client to make sure that you can do your best work. And so those clients that ask you to maybe just do month to month or maybe try a couple months, typically this means that they're not committed to it and so you wanna make sure that you can sign them to six month, 12 month, even 18 month agreements that way you can give both you and the client time to learn to work together and start providing great results. Now to go along with this, one of the most critical parts is setting these clients up on some sort of auto pay structure. And so what I mean by this is I use a service called Hello Bonsai. And I love this because I can actually set my clients up on auto pay where they plug in their credit card the first time and then it's actually just going to auto bill them every single month on that same day. And I love this 
because it's going to eliminate a lot of the friction of me having to reach out to that client every single month and say, hey, you haven't paid me, you owe me $500. And a lot of times this just becomes a hassle to them and your chances of them canceling go way, way up. And so what I like to do is set them on auto pay so they can kind of just set it and forget it and then I don't have to worry about tracking them down every month. I can just focus my time and efforts on providing these services and getting them results. So if you're interested in using the same invoicing and proposal system that I do to set all this up, I'll actually put that in the link down below. Again, it's called Hello Bonsai and it has been a major game changer for my business. But overall, adding these additional monthly services have been hands down the biggest game changer for my business because my clients are happier, I can build a longer term relationship with them, and even more importantly, my wife is happier because we have a predictable and consistent base income that we know we can anticipate every single month. And that way, again, we're not starting every month from scratch, but we have something to build on. And then if you think about it, if you're keeping clients for a year or longer than a year, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of fill up that bucket that we talked about because there's not going to be um, a whole lot of churn or people falling out the bottom of that. And so maybe right now you just start with one or two of those clients. But in my case, if I can just land one or two new clients every single month, those are going to stack up to where right now I'm at the point where I've got 20 to 30 monthly clients that are again providing that monthly base. But also for me, if I have a month where I don't land a new website project, it literally doesn't matter to me hardly at all because I'm so busy keeping up with my monthly services. And again, it's provided so much comfort, so much predictability, and it's made the whole freelance process much, much easier for me and my family. So I wanna know down in the comments, what type of monthly services are you currently offering? Or if you're not offering any yet, what services are you gonna start offering to increase your monthly revenue? So thanks so much for watching this video. In our next video, we're gonna be talking about what you need to do to reach the $9,000 per month mark. I'm really excited about this video. It's gonna be really, really helpful. So if you haven't already, make sure to click below and subscribe so you can be notified when that video releases. And I will catch you guys next time.